Hi, Jackie. My name is Sean Everett. I am the website analysis expert at Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for talking with Eric. He sent your website over to me for analysis. Here is your analysis. I won't waste another time. I'm going to walk you through what I found. I'm going to show you all the sources that I used, and uh, hopefully it will help you get a better website. Uh, the first thing that I do when I have a, an assignment like yours is to go to a, a paid tool that I have. It's called Ahrefs. It provides me some of the metrics of your site. The second thing I do is I go to a Google uh, map search and I look at where Arvada is in comparison to other communities, Westminster, North Glen, Broomfield, etc. The third thing I do is I go and I do, as a result of the metrics, a search from uh, Google. Now, I typed in best roofer in Arvada, Colorado, and here's what I came up with. At the very top, are paid uh, advertisements. These are people who have paid to have their listing up there. Now, you don't necessarily have to do that in order to be at the top, but I'm going to have to explain a little bit about how Google works in order to help you understand where I'm going with all of this. And the very first thing you see under the uh, um, the sponsored ones, uh, aside from that actual, you know, from today's homeowner, that's what they think the best roofers in Arvada are. Um, is something called the map pack. Now the map pack is so named because they are attached to this map and uh, they did something that other companies may not have done. I don't know if you have. They have gone to Google and filled out a Google business profile. Now you don't need me to do that. You can do that this afternoon or this evening. Just go there and uh, it's like a Google, uh, like excuse me, like a Facebook profile except it's going to ask you things like what year you started your business. It's going to ask you, uh, obviously, your, your uh, opening and closing hours, your website, your physical address, so they can place you on the map. And I can tell you right now that these folks have not been very, very thorough. This company has been very thorough because it shows me their actual address. It shows me their number. It shows me their opening hours. And because they filled out a Google business profile, they also have uh, um, this opportunity to put this little thing in uh, uh, that people can read and determine. Now, you can do this yourself. This is a free advice for you. Uh, number two, uh, after that is what we call the organic search results. Now, um, the organic search results are totally the result of a Google algorithm. And the Google algorithm was developed to give its customers, its search customers, the most relevant results as, as Google sees it. Uh, I mean, you know, you could have the worst company in, in the world. And as long as you satisfy the Google algorithm, that's what is going to get you to the top of the Google uh, search list. Now, the first ones that I found scrolling down, aside from Home Advisor and Expertise, is Arvada roofing. Now, uh, at first I thought, oh my, they're already there, but it's the difference between Arvada roofing and the Arvada roofing company. So here's Arvada uh, roofing uh, website. I'm going to call them your Google competitor because they're at the top of a Google list. Um, and uh, here's what I'm going to do first off. I'm going to show you your site. I'm going to cut and paste into a word counter. Your site is beautiful, by the way, very, in its simplicity. I love it very much. 821 words. Uh, now I'm going to do the same thing for Arvada. Oh, that sounds weird to say because you are Arvada. All right. There we go. 272 words. Now, the word count normally, uh, if you have more words in your website, you would win. But it has to do with the quality of the words. And the quality of the words come from your industry. And it also comes from your area. So let me show you what I mean. Um, here is your website with regards to this uh, paid thing that I have here, Ahrefs. And here is your uh, um, metrics for keywords, which is what I'm talking about now. You have 17 keywords on your website. And let me show you uh, Arvada. They have 718. Now let me show you their uh, organic uh, search uh, uh, keywords and you can see what I'm talking about. Now they have, obviously they cover Denver, I'm sure you do as well. Uh, roofing companies, Denver, Arvada Roofing, Denver Roofing Companies, Denver Roofing Company. You can see there's a lot of variation between singular and plural. 
Now, what I'm going to tell you is, is that, uh, for instance, uh, let me see. Do you have, I'm going to look at your site again. I'm going to type in find. I'm going to type best. No, I don't see the word best in here. Now, I'm going to go and, and uh, show you this. Why don't you have best roofer in Arbata on your website? You don't have to be modest. This isn't, you know, a, 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 you're not trying to win the, the presidency of the, the junior class. <laughs> you can be you can be kind of boastful. You've had 40 years of experience doing roofs. You can do best roofer in Westminster. You can do best roofer in Golden. Uh, all of these communities can stand to have the best roofer on your website um, because, you know, you're you're competing with uh, a company that has you know, also a large range. And it's not just competing in the physical space anymore, it's competing on this virtual space and competing within the Google world. So you have a beautiful website. Once people get here, they're gonna go into it, uh, uh, but you have to get people here. And what's getting them here is what's contained in your website. You do not have enough of the keywords. Now you can think of the keywords yourself. You don't need me to show you this. You can think of all the different uh, uh, words that might be in your industry, like gutters or uh, shingles or uh, shake roof or TPO or, you know, any number of things. People often ask questions too, like how long will a roof last in, in uh, Colorado? Or um, uh, what do I have to do with my insulation? Or look at this emergency roof repair near me. Now, if you don't have those phrases on your website, it's like uh, if, if you want people who type uh, uh, gorillas love red balloons on a, a, a Google search, if you want them to come to your site, you're going to have that on your site. If you don't have emergency roof repair near me on your website, then you're not going to get those customers. It's as simple as that. You need to have more of these keywords on your website. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is uh, the backlinks. Now, backlinks, you have 100 and they have 519. Now, backlinks is where another site refers to your site. For instance, homeadvisor.com, expertise.com, yellow pages, etc., etc. Now, you want to get on those sites because the more backlinks you have, the more that Google thinks you are a legitimate business. In, in essence, Google is saying the more people there are talking about you, then more important you must be. So uh, you need to satisfy that metric uh, of the Google algorithm in order to get higher in a search result. Now, I've shown you that there are two numbers that really result in where your placement is on, on a Google search. And here is where that rubber meets the road. You have had 144 clicks, 141 clicks, excuse me. Uh, you're up 22 from last month and they have had 896 clicks. Now, I can tell you that 896 clicks is likely to gather some more uh, uh, estimate requests. It's likely to get more potential customers and also likely to get more money in your pocket. But the thing is, I'm going to assume, and you know, here's the proof, they're higher up on this search than you are. I don't see you anywhere else in here, actually. And you, you, most people will not scroll past, you know, I mean, you know, some guy with a Dorito on one hand and a mouse in the other is not going to scroll down very far. He's going to say, oh, everything above here I can find out about. And then he's going to stop scrolling. So get people to your website by making a few of these simple changes to your website. Uh, but most people in the roofing industry uh, prefer to do roofs as opposed to digging around in the guts of their website which is a very time consuming thing to figure out what all of the uh, uh, keywords could be, to figure out what all of the backlinks could be. Um, that's very time consuming, but this is where I think Eric might be able to help you out. So if any of this makes sense to you, and you can certainly check out my numbers by yourself, you can see that the numbers that I'm talking about are true, uh, then you can uh, give Eric a call and he would be happy to guide you through the next steps. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.